we have to understand that we have no thing called the mind we only have a thing called the body and uh, what we call the mind the buddha used three words to refer to what is called the mind chitta mano and vijnana these are the three things and if we examine what these three things are these are three activities of the body there are three activities of the body that we refer to as mind one is vijnana vijnana simply means that we have in this body five senses the eyes the ear the nose the tongue and the body itself these senses when stimulated by the environment contact the senses react to that stimulus that reaction is what is called vijnana chakku vijnana the eye reacting sota vijnana the ear reacting gana vijnana nose reacting jiva vijnana tongue reacting and kaya vijnana the body reacting that reaction is the main thing that we call vijnana today it is translated as consciousness, consciousness which is not correct it is really perception not consciousness perception now during the time of the buddha someone came and asked the buddha question we have these five senses and each sense will give different information the eye the information we get from the eye is different from the information we get from the ear it is a sound and nose gives another kind of information the tongue gives another kind of information now these different information they are different but we mix these things together where does that mixing come Uh, where, yeah in the where do they unite in the mind then the buddha said mano mano is the place and today if we use the modern scientific uh, thinking all these information going from the senses go to the brain and the brain begins to do the thinking put that information together and compare it with the past experiences and gives a meaning so when when i see a person coming here if i see, have seen that person before i will know that person or if i don't at least i will see whether it is a man or a woman <laughs> whatever it is yes. so the meaning is given by the thinking part which is mano which is the activity of the brain there is no thinker as a separate person it is the brain and there is a part of the brain called the cerebrum or the cerebral cortex which is doing the thinking and mano really is not another person there or anything but the <coughs> body itself the brain is a part of the body so that if you do you cut off somebody's head the yeah. brain is there but yeah. it, there's yeah. no mind it's yeah. it's not and screen. then the other thing is once you have given a meaning to what you saw an emotion is aroused that means you like that thing that you saw or you hate that or you are frightened of that or you are worried about that these are the emotions and that emotional part is what the buddha call chitta so chitta is the emotional part and according to the emotion that is aroused an action takes place 
in the form of speech or behavior and that is what is called karma karma is the action that goes and the action can also have results which may be if you become angry and you begin to fight with people other people might fight with you also or you might be taken to prison <laughs> these are the effects yeah so those are the consequences of the action so that is the vipaka so all these things are just the body doing these things there is no person or any mind as a separate thing that is doing anything so there's no thinker to do the thinking so don't think <laughs> i th